Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So we're in our vegan again and today we're going to be looking at the HUD and the hub symbology. So to put this tutorial into context, uh, we're at an airport here. If I click on us there, we've got two predefined waypoints um, based on what I set in the mission editor. And this HUD symbology that we're going to look at is in relation to those preset waypoints. Uh, so to get them to work, we've got to do our usual trick of inserting the cassette there. Ref Lola input 9099 enter wait for the zeros out ACPOS default position this is something we always have to do uh, to find out, get that navigation to work so the what we're going to look at in the hub today is relevant to all of our master modes apart from BER there will be extra um, HUD symbology on in attack modes when using certain weapons we're not going to look at that today that will be shown in the individual weapon tutorials so first thing is the actual glass itself has two positions you can go uh, click on here you can go up or down down tends to be for um, when you're in a ground attack mode because it allows you to see a little bit lower and up tends to be for general navigation okay put my seat up a bit right that's going to uh, take off and final waypoint stand by rotate gear up so the first we're going to do is turn to waypoint one you can see we're waypoint one there selected and on our compass rows that is the bracket uh, showing where the waypoint is so we're going to turn on to that now so let's look at some initial HUD symbology. So first of all, we've got a horizontal line here, which is always going to be tracked to the horizon. So wherever I go, if I pull up into the air like that, this line will stay down here against the horizon and therefore it'll be outside of our HUD glass. We won't be able to see it. Uh, next, we've got our path vector. This little chap here is showing where our aircraft is actually pointing, the actual vector of our aircraft. And you can see it's got our tail and our wings there. So you can see that we're uh, banked to the left next we've got a heading strip along the bottom here it's kind of hard to see we've got 26 degrees uh sorry 260 there and if we just turned as an example you see we've got 250 degrees there and so on uh, next we've got a uh, pitch elevation markers so we can see that's horizon as we said that's five plus five degrees up and that is minus five degrees down as far as i'm aware it doesn't have any further markers than five degrees we've got symbology here regarding altitude lots of it in fact first of all we've got um, azimuth nav navigation so interrupting our hor horizon line here is a space and then a dot in the middle that dot is basically pointing towards our point of interest our selected waypoint b1 that we've preset in the mission editor now if it was slewed right off to the side that would mean that it's asking you to chase left turn left until it heads into the center when it's in the center roughly like this of the hub then you are pointing towards it the name of the game is to get essentially your half factor here onto that dot there at least in terms of azimuth uh, however not in terms of elevation elevation and height are shown by these pole track or just the height bars as i call them so the point of interest we're going for uh, waypoint one has a height set in it i think it's 500 meters and these show us how our height in relation to that waypoint so basically these lines are telling us that we want to change our altitude at the moment to get to the desired altitude of waypoint one now generally speaking these pole track bars um, are if they're showing above this horizon line then we are too low it's a bit weird everything like like everything on the vegan it's just a bit weird but once you get used to it it's actually pretty cool uh, if we were above the desired altitude of 500 meters these bars would have dropped actually below uh, our horizon line and will be hanging below this horizon line as we'll have a look in a minute um, regard these pole track lines also have some absolute height information so for instance here this little bar here and this little one here is our 100 meter line if you like we can use it as a scale ruler um, we can say there's roughly about four of these bars in this what's projecting here above the horizon line one two three four so what it's roughly telling us at a quick look is that we are 400 meters below because it's above the horizon below our desired waypoint and we can calculate that quickly here because we've also got the altitude here we're at 110 meters and the difference between 500 meters meters desired waypoint and 110 is about 400 meters uh, one thing to point out if we do go below 100 meters then this elevation symbology disappears i've never actually known the reason for that so anyone knows that that will be handy also we can say these uh, 100 meter lines because they are just at the moment reaching this horizon line we can actually tell we are at 100 meters or very near to it we're at 110 meters so let's just uh, do a little bit of moving about just to show that off a bit better so we can see now we're at 
uh, 90 meters or 100 meters that's just clicked from and then we therefore we can see those bars are just touching that line now if we go down it disappears because we've gone below 100 meters if we go up You can see that these 100 meter bars are moving away from the center bar and that's because we're getting above 100 meters so it's a good way of testing if you're 100 meters off the ground uh, next we're going to increase our altitude a little bit and what we want to do is have these pole track lines hang off the bottom of our horizon line if they're hanging off them perfectly just touching the horizon line we are at our desired altitude of waypoint one so we'll do that also is uh, we, we can point out this point that these pole track lines are at one two and three degrees azimuth from the um, point of interest there of our waypoint okay so that's power on let's increase some altitude it's quite a pretty primitive hud so that if we um, aim our nose up in the air like that it actually disappears off the bottom it's just something you have to get used to whoops right okay so you can see we're getting near the desired 500 meters stop there and you can see at 500 meters our desired waypoint altitude the pole tracks are hanging directly below uh, the horizon line so that's our indication for elevation and we've got a new player in town our range bar has uh, just come into effect here uh, so essentially our range bar works and this works uh, this will be used in navigation mode and attack modes essentially our ranging bar that's us in the center the uptick there this is the range regards navigation it tells us um, at, at its widest basically at its widest between there and there it's showing your 10 kilometers from the target or the waypoint and as we go as we get closer towards the waypoint it will get slower and smaller and smaller until it disappears basically and then we're at our range to the waypoint is zero um, it works slightly different with weapons if you're using it in a attack mode with weapons then that rather than being 10 kilometers that's uh, the width there is calibrated depending on the type of weapon you've got to set up and its various variables uh, but otherwise it's going to look basically the same so let's head towards that waypoint so you can get it smaller now so we're about one kilometer away now and it's going to disappear that means we're on top of the waypoint and we will switch to the next waypoint Bosh, and there we go and then it's slew to the right asking us to track right to go and find that next waypoint that's it really um very very simple once you get used to it actually really intuitive it will be used in combination with your waypoint indicator here so you know which waypoint you're looking at and your compass rows here and the e-bracket here which uh shows the direction the azimuth of your next selected point of interest or waypoint uh that is all i've got to say on that i hope it helps and i'll see you later